So today I wanted to talk to you about how my book launch went for Gabriel is Cursed. Since it just ended pretty recently and it's still fresh in my mind, I wanted to talk to you about some of the things I did to prepare for my book launch, what kinds of promotion I did, and how it went, and just how I feel about it overall. Now one thing I knew going into this is that the time of year that I ended up picking for my book launch is a horrible time of year to launch. It's right around Christmas. There's a lot of competition going on because of traditional publishers and things like that. So it's a little bit difficult unless you are specifically promoting a Christmas themed thing, which because I'm Jewish, not something I was planning on doing. So I kind of had like low expectations, but I have to say I was still a little bit disappointed with the results. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what all I did for my book launch so you can get an idea of what I was doing in an attempt to promote this book. First thing I want to mention is I had a team of ARC reviewers, although it was much smaller than last time, I reached out to all the people in my email list, I also posted in a bunch of reviewing Facebook groups twice, and I put forms for reviewers on my Twitter and Instagram, although I only got two and both were for physical copies, which I do not have yet, so I'm still waiting on the print cover from my cover artist so I can get that out of the way as well. On top of ARC reviews, I also applied for several editorial reviews, but because they're free they're going to take several weeks, two months, before I get to see those, if I get to see them at all because it's free so there's no guarantee that they'll actually review them. I also had a publishing assistant in November who reached out to several bloggers to see if they would be willing to do a review or promote the book. I only ended up getting about two responses and one of them did review and liked it. The other one I am again waiting on print books so I haven't been able to have her do that yet. And then the third one said she would review, because there was actually a third one that I had talked to back when the release date was supposed to be August, and they're going to be reviewing the book potentially in like February, March. So that's all kind of some of the stuff I did for ARC reviewing and social media stuff. I reached out to a lot of bloggers and a lot of influencers, but this, this time around I really didn't have a very good response with that. I did also, leading up to launch week, do a promotion for Spellbound where I had it up for free and I gave away about 800 copies during those free days, but I haven't seen any people go from the first book and then buy the second book. I'm hoping to see later on that people do end up reading the first book and that they don't just let the free book sit on their Kindle and buy the second book. In addition to ARC reviews and bloggers and influencers, I also worked on a couple of author takeovers. So I did two during release week. One I think I want to say was on a Monday, the day before my YouTube live stream. And then the other one I want to say I did on a, a Friday. I don't really remember what day it was. So those were really fun. I definitely enjoyed them. Didn't, nothing, nothing I've done so far has really netted me any sales, but I did get some visibility and some interaction which was kind of cool. On top of the author takeovers, I also did a YouTube live stream, which I did on Tuesday, the actual day which of the launch of the book. So that was like the first day of the release. That was when I did my live stream. I had pretty good attendance, which I was happy about. I gave away a lot of prizes, I interacted with a lot of people. Again, didn't really see any sales from it, but that was okay. I had a lot of fun doing it anyway. And then on top of the live stream, I also did a giveaway, which is still going on. I'll put the link down below if you would like to enter. And I did that through Rafflecopter. So that was one of the other things I did for launch week. And then on top of that, I also made sure that I was promoting on Twitter. So we do like a shameless self promo Saturday. So I posted that book everywhere on Saturday. Any chance I had to post anything related to covers, excerpts, I did that on Twitter. And then I also posted some excerpts and some reminders about the launch on Instagram as well for launch week. So those are all the things I did. I also, on top of that, because I almost forgot, I did TikTok. 
I did a few TikTok videos as well because I just recently started with TikTok. I think today I just hit 83 followers or so, so not a huge audience to work with. But I did a couple videos about the book and about things relating to the book and got a couple followers that way, so that was kind of cool. During launch week, a couple of other things I also did that I'm forgetting about. I posted on my author Facebook page about the book release. I posted to my newsletter about the giveaway and that the book had released. And that's pretty much it. During this week, I was also looking for more reviewers because I knew my review team wasn't big enough. And during review week, I got two reviews. One was from a previous ARC reader. The other was from a newer ARC reader on Amazon. And then I have, I think in total, about five reviews now on Goodreads. But during launch week, I think I only got two or three. And then moving on to sales. Sales for launch week, honestly, were pretty disappointing. I had three pre-orders, which was far lower than my first book, my debut. I knew it was full priced and it was also not a great time of year but I was hoping to get more than that. And then during launch week, I only got one more additional sale. So my total was only four sales for the entirety of launch week. I do know that my launches, for whatever reason, I tend to sell like less during launch. And then I sell more in like the two or three weeks after launch. Why? Don't know. I'm hoping to see that trend with this book and that sales will pick up once I have more reviews. But right now, I'm pretty disappointed with how my book launch went. I think maybe I should have done some of the things I did last time, which was reaching out sooner when it came to reviewers because I think that hurt me a lot. The other thing I think that hurt me was this time I did not do a 99 cent launch like I did with Spellbound, or also it's known as Rose's Spellbound now. With Gabriel is Cursed, I promoted it at full price, $2.99, and I didn't do any big newsletter blasts. Like last time, I did a bunch of newsletter blasts. This time, I did a bunch of other stuff. I did author takeovers, I did a giveaway, I did Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, but all of those things combined didn't really get me any sales, which was really disappointing. And I also just didn't get enough reviews, and I don't know if it was the time of year or if my blurb wasn't catching people's attention enough. I'm really not sure, but I was just very, very disappointed with how the launch went, unfortunately. Like last time, I just had a lot more luck. I think I had, I want to say 20 or 30 sales during launch week, and this one is only four. But we'll see what happens. I know you're supposed to wait about a month after release to see what your overall like sell-through rate is. So I'm hoping to see sell-through rate increase once I've gotten more reviews and as I keep sending emails to my newsletter. But we shall see what happens. But that's all I have for you today. If you liked this video, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to my channel down below. And if you've had a book launch recently, especially this month, let me know how your book launch went. Were you happy about it, disappointed, or somewhere in between? That's all. Thanks. Bye.